Hello everybody, Todd Woodbridge here. Joining me is Yelena Dokic and the fairy tale run of Layla Fernandez continues. It sure does. She's through to her first uh, US Open semi-final. She, she actually just turned 19 yesterday and what an incredible performance against Vitalina. Uh, what a tough match. Just another one uh, at the US Open for her. But also just to mention, she's beaten now Konyu, Kanepi, Osaka, um, Kerba and Svitolina, they've all either been in the top 20 or at least in the quarterfinals of a Grand Slam. So just absolutely incredible. I, I love to watch her play. She's exciting. She moves incredibly well. She's such a great fighter. Reminds me a little bit of Nadal, actually, that never say die attitude. So I, I absolutely love to watch her. But also Sabalenka, she got through Krejcikova in straight sets, a comfortable win. So she's looking good. But what about the men, Todd? Well, it was a big uh, opportunity for Felix Auger Aliazim to be put through to a semi final for the first time. Carlos Alcaraz had to retire, and it shows you the importance of miles in the leg and that physical fitness required on the men's side to be able to win five setters in back to back matches. He just looked like he physically hit the wall. We'll hear more about what happened to him a little bit later. But the other semi final, Daniil Medvedev, he defeated Vonda Zonschup. Uh, he lost the first set of the tournament. I think that's a good thing for him. It's the first time he's been pressed and he needed that going into the big matches in the semis and potentially a final. What have we got to look forward to tomorrow though, Yelena? Uh, we've got two exciting quarterfinals on the women's side. We've got Pliskova against Sakari. That's an exciting one. They won all in their head to head. The last time they played was in 2019 and Pliskova won that match in straight sets, but a lot has changed since then. But the one thing to keep an eye on with Sakari is the recovery after that big match against Andrescu. They, they played for more than three hours. How will she recover? We know she's incredibly fit, but that type of match does take a lot out of you. But also Pliskova, she has been playing incredible tennis. That Wimbledon final has given her a lot of confidence serving. That's the big one, the serve. She's served more than 20 aces in pretty much every single match at the US Open, and it's been extremely hard to break her. So does she perhaps have a bit of an edge there? We'll see. But also Benchich and Raducanu. How about that one? The 18-year-old Raducanu coming through uh, against Benchich, the Olympic champion. So this is where the experience perhaps for Benchich uh, will be extremely important in a match like this. But Raducanu, I'm excited to watch her again. She's, she moves well. She, she plays really aggressive. Benchich, she, she does have a bit of that variety. Takes the ball early. How will Raducanu handle that? Well, I guess we'll find out. But on the men's side as well, some great matches, Todd. World number one, Novak Djokovic takes on Matteo Berrettini. That was the final at Wimbledon a couple of months ago. Djokovic, most likely for me, he wins that one again because he's so good at exposing weaknesses. And Berrettini has a weakness on that backhand side. Loves to hit big forehands, but Djokovic can get to that wing. And I expect a very similar match to what we saw at the, at the Wimbledon final, but Djokovic should go through. The other is Zverev versus Harris. Lloyd Harris has had an incredible run at this US Open, and you've got to think it's about to come to an end. He's going up another level, taking on Zverev. Zverev, for me, is that underdog favorite of the top three that are left. I think he's got that ability in this one to win comfortably, and then potentially we've got another clash like we had at the Olympics just a few weeks ago between Djokovic and Zverev in that semi-final. Well, that's it for day nine. We look forward to talking all the results from day 10. We'll talk to you then.